hello friends welcome to precise total in this video we will see what is cell return entry and how to do cell return entry in precise total when sold goods may be written to return back due to some defects or if they are not according to the specifications of the buyers then a sales entry sales return entry is passed how to pass the sales return entry in precise total we will see through an example let's say we have sold 10 computer mouse to XYZ company in cash from which customer have written 5 mouse due to some defect then how will you do entry of this particular transactions in precise total for sales written transactions entry you have to go in sell in a sales return in a sales return we have two type of sales return entry cash sales return entry and cash and credit sales return entry we will do in this example cash sales return entry after going to cash sales return entry you have to enter the account name from which the cash sales return is coming like we are receiving from xyz company after selecting xyz company you can put here the entry date the reference number and even you can import the sales from which sales invoice this particular inventory is returning like you can like it is returning from cash cell let's say and after after selecting the cash cell it will give you the list of invoices which you have purchased from this but xyz company you have to select the same invoice number from which you, the sales return is coming like we are we are getting the sales return from for this invoice xyz company if you select this invoice then you can see here that the cash sales entry is coming here which is transaction number which is invoice number this we get the trans this we get the full invoice here we know that only the five quantities have been returned so we will put here five here and save as we click on a save button a transaction is saved and a, and a sales return invoice is generated here you can even print this invoice and convert it in a pdf and send to your client you can even update and delete this transaction by going into a search button and selecting the same transaction which you have passed here by going inside it and from this button you can update and delete the transaction after updating this transaction in this video we have learned what is sales return entry and how to implement sales return entry in precise total for any doubt and suggestion you can comment us on youtube so stay tuned